the award to celebrate young people's achievements and recognise the barriers they have overcome. Altogether, 60 nominations were received from schools, youth groups, community groups and members of the public. Every nomination told a different story, but they all confirmed that there are some remarkable young people in Nottinghamshire. Um, less shy now to talk to other people, so uh, I can talk to as much as other people as I want to comes into the club, but sometimes I do get a bit shy. Eddie was shocked when he heard that he'd won um, the award for Ashfield. Um, I think he's very proud of himself, um, and we're very proud of him here at Selston. Um, it's more proud to have him on our, our staff team. I've walked places people who never walked before Living my life on the road To try and settle a score I've seen the future, I've seen the past I don't know what we're really like He came to the edge and now he's come out the other side because he was in a really difficult situation. And I've just grown to helping more people watching videos about how less unfortunate fortunate people are. And I suppose my life has changed really around that really. Like I would uh, now if someone asked me to help them, if I've got time, I'll smile and say yes straight away. Nominated Jordan because Jordan has been involved in the design, uh, funding, campaigning, uh, everything for the skate park since the start. I'm surprised that when I got a phone call telling me that I've won an award, I didn't really like clicking at first. And then, yeah. Proud. Winning the award will mean a lot for Sophie. Um, like I say, over the past 12, 18 months, she's had some personal uh, tragedies in her life which she's overcome. Uh, I think she's, uh, youth work's been um, a, a saviour in some ways for, for Sophie, but she puts back twice as much as what she takes out. Being involved with the youth club, that's been great, meeting the young kids, and I know a few of them struggled with times as well. I know a lot of my friends have, but we all support each other through it. And Coming here has just been an extra support like, barrier for me for when I've been upset, when I've struggled with it. And there's always somebody that I can talk to. Um, he still comes in here smiling, laughing. Um, yeah, he's got problems, but he doesn't let that affect him. You know, he just lives life to the full, really, I think. And I think that's to be commended. I sometimes have moments where I break down and um, cr like sit in my room in the corner and cry my eyes out until it, it's all gone. And then sometimes I can just be really strong, don't think about it whatsoever. It's just, so again, trying to find the right balance. Well, to be honest, with the young people that I work with at Bingham, um, she was the immediate choice, really. I just felt that um, head and shoulders above any... And that's not to say that the other young people that we work with haven't made big achievements or anything like that, but I was aware, really, of, of the progress that Summer had made. Well, working here now, they've gained me more respect. They're, like, giving me respect, like, in the youth club and out. They treat me the same instead of, like... Instead of like saying just classing me as a mate, they class me as a mate but a worker as well. Yes. 
say hello, you think that I And it's my pleasure to announce the winner of the Nottinghamshire Outstanding Achievement for Youth Award for 2012. And I have here the magic silver envelope. Well, I'm pleased to announce that Lauren Hall from Bassett Law is the winner this evening. Lauren's always stood out since the time that she joined Rep for Post 16 Centre. Um, she actually moved from another school. She came to us because it, geographically it was closer. Um, so we had prior knowledge that you know she'd attained some good GCSE results. It had been hampered along the way by some health issues. We were aware of that. I had a head injury three years ago, and after that I've had a lot of illness, like celiac disease, picked up. So obviously I've had to change my diet, which has mean that my blood sugars have sort of gone a bit crazy and all over the place. So I've had a lot to deal with and then at the start of this year I found out that I had a high heart rate after collapsing at sixth form. And since then I've had to wear a heart rate monitor and make sure my heart rate's not getting too high. It's made me quite poorly during sports, it means when I'm running into things I'm just not able to do it. So now it's sort of looking for ways where I can carry on a career in sport as I want to be a PE teacher, but sort of find something that isn't as strenuous. The adversity that Lauren has come through in her life is just amazing and yet she remains absolutely determined that she's going to have the career that she wants for herself. I think any of us that have had um, health setbacks understand the position you're in. It's so easy to give in. And it's so easy to give in when you're young and you have so many other things happening in your life but Lauren hasn't done that. She's actually gone out there. She's found something which is going to allow her to take forward her chosen career in an area which she can deliver. I'm really, really excited. Uh, my heart was racing. I was thinking, oh God, <laughs> stop racing. <laughs> I'm seeing with my heart condition. Uh, but yeah, I'm so in the moon. I don't think it's home yet. I'll probably wake up tomorrow morning and bounce off the ceiling. <laughs>